Hello, my name is Kelly Workington, and I'm a plumbing instructor at the Red Deer School of Trades and Technologies, and I am the Mathematic Plumber. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to read an imperial tape measure. Now, this is an important skill that most tradesmen will need to know how to do. If we look into the imperial tape measure, we'll find out there's more than one type, but today we're only going to focus on the most common one. Let's have a look at a common layout of the regular tape measure. First, let's start at the beginning. There's a true zero hook tab at the start. This is where you start your measurement from. Then we have a whole bunch of numbers that follow that. Now these are inch marks. Remember, there's 12 inches in each foot. So when we get to the 12 inch mark, we're gonna see one F. That stands for one foot. When we continue to the right of the one foot mark, we're going to notice that our inches are divided up into two separate rows. The top row is red, and this represents inches in each foot. The bottom row is black, and we'll just continue numbering on from 12 and up, right till the end of the tape measure. When we get up to the 24 inch mark, we'll notice that we're also at the 2F mark, and that means we're at 2 feet. And this pattern will continue over and over again until we get to the end of our tape measure. Now let's focus up on the inch mark. Notice that there's 16 little lines or divisions in each inch. These little lines represent fractions of an inch. Let's focus up on the middle division line. This is the half inch mark. Now there's a line that's a little bit shorter on either side of it. Over here is the quarter inch mark. And then on the other side is the three quarter inch mark. Notice that both of those lines are the same height. Now on either side of the quarter inch markings are lines that are slightly shorter. These are eighth of an inch markings. They represent the one eighth mark, the three eighth mark, the five eighth mark, and the seventh eighth mark. And now the shortest lines. These are the sixteenth of an inch markings. These lines represent the sixteenth inch mark, the three sixteenths inch mark, five sixteenths, 7 sixteenths, 9 sixteenths, 11 sixteenths, 13 sixteenths, and finally 15 sixteenths. So now that we know the layout of a tape measure, let's take a measurement. The first thing that we need to know is we can take measurements in two different ways. We can do feet, inches, and fractions of an inch, or we can simply just do inches and fractions of an inch. So we're going to start with inches and fractions of an inch because it's a little easier to do. So my first measurement will be to this point right here. So notice that we are between the 15 and 16 inch mark. So we are at 15 inches. Now we need to look at our fractional markings. Well, we're right at that half mark, so this is fairly easy. This measurement is 15 and a half inches. Now let's do this exact same measurement, except for I want the answer in feet, inches, and fractions of an inch. So we look at our measuring mark. We're between the one and two foot mark. So we write down one foot. Now we go and look. Hey, our next measurement is between the three and four inch mark. So we're at one foot three. And we already figured out that we are at the half inch mark. So our measurement is one foot three and a half inches. Now let's do one more measurement. Extend my tape out to this point right here. I want you to do this one. I want you to give me an answer in inches and fractions of an inch and an answer in feet, inches and fractions of an inch. So pause the video and do that for me right now. All right, let's go through this. I'm between the 43 and 44 inch marks. Therefore, I'm at 43 inches. And when I look closely at my fractional markings, I'm at the 13 16th of an inch mark. Therefore, my measurement is 43 and 13 16 inches long. Let's solve this for feet, inches, and fractions of an inch. We'll notice that we're between the three and four foot mark. Therefore, we're at three feet. And on the red inch row, we're between seven and eight inches. Therefore, we're at three foot, seven inches. And we've already figured out our fractional inches, 13 16 so our final answer is 3 foot 7 and 13 16 inches. Well, thank you for watching my video. 
Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe before you leave. And if you ever have any questions, just put it down in the comment section and I'll get back to you.